Hey everyone, today we are finishing up Luke chapter 14. We're in verses 25 to 35. Today we are going to read another one of Jesus' teachings that I'm just going to say it is really difficult. It's a call to live our lives completely counterculturally, a call that leaves us pretty vulnerable according to the world standards, according to society standards, but it's a call that leads to the most adventure-filled life that you could ever dream. It leads to lasting joy, lasting hope, security, and peace. So as we read this together today, come with an open heart and an open mind, knowing that what Jesus is calling us to is difficult, but what he's calling us to is also the best life that there could possibly be. Our reading opens today by setting the scene. A large crowd was following Jesus as he traveled into Jerusalem. He turned around and he said this to the crowd. Starting in verse 26, we read this. If you want to be my disciple, you must by comparison hate everyone else. Your father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. And if you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. Jesus is laying out here what it truly means to be his disciple. And what it means is to follow after him above everything else in your life. Now, Jesus' ministry and message was one defined by love. He says that the greatest commandment that we could ever follow, the greatest commandment, is to love God and to love others. If you notice in this verse that we just read, though, Jesus says that if you want to be my disciple, you have to hate everything and everyone else. Now, this wasn't to say that you need to treat people unkindly. <laughs> this, was, this was to show just the great, the great amount of difference that is between um, our commitment to following Jesus and our commitment to everyone and everything else in our lives. Do you see what I mean about difficult, though? This goes against everything that society builds up for us as meaning the quote-unquote good life. Jesus goes on to tell two different parables that illustrate the principle of counting the cost. He says that in the same way that builders um, wouldn't start a construction pro process without knowing the financial cost of the process, or in the same way that um, an army of 10,000 people wouldn't choose to go up against an army of 20,000 people, no one should decide to follow Jesus without truly counting the cost. Reading through this passage today reminded me of one of my favorite verses in the Bible, and it's from the Apostle Paul's letter to the Philippians, the church in Philippi. And right before the verse, Paul writes uh, that he has every reason, according to the world, to be considered successful, to be considered important and valuable. And then he comes in and says this. This is Philippians, 3 chap or Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. Another translation says, for nothing compares to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. So yes, Jesus is calling us to a life, um, it's calling us to go after him with an all-out abandon, chasing after him far more than we chase after the things of this world um, or, or anything or anyone else in this world. But know that this life will be far greater than anything you could ever imagine. So I want to invite all of us today to search our hearts and examine our lives, lives and ask the question, what do I, what do we need to do today 
in order to go all out in following Jesus. Remember that it's going to be the greatest adventure, the most fulfilling, the most, just the best life that you could ever imagine if we follow after Jesus. So what's the one step that you can do today to go after chasing after Jesus? I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.